What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Turn my focus in on the uh, Blackhawks and Artemi Panarin. Two development stories on Chicago, one of which they uh, might be moving him and Kane off the same line, which is, like, what? Why would you do that? Uh, when in actuality, it kind of makes sense. Try to even up the score and give your team a few different looks, knowing that you can just circle back to have the two of them on the same line and, you know, the productivity will be there. Uh, second part, Panarin wants a contract extension. He will be a restricted free agent next July, and he feels that he has warranted that deal. Uh, said deal should be worth six years at $6 million. Not unreasonable. At all, considering he was in the top 10 in the NHL scoring last season as a rookie. What is he doing year two? Is there a sophomore slump? Everyone say, oh, just just give it to him. Yeah, I would kind of make sense. But at the same time, if you give him that and he regresses, which I don't think he will, the Blackhawks are in tough shape financially in terms of the salary cap and all that shit. You're really going to be playing with fire by adding that contract. So I'd wait a little bit. If he gets off to a hot start, then yeah. But just because he's willing to take that contract now doesn't mean he's going to want to take it, you know, down the line. Um, so that's – you're kind of, again, playing with fire. Flip side of the coin, they've proven time and time again that they can change the, the pieces around uh, Kane and Taves. Uh, Kane, Taves, Hosa, Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook, Corey Crawford, and uh, still win. So, hypothetically, he's a restricted free agent in July. They flip him at the draft to get some picks and high-end prospects back. So, you know, it's just one of those things that don't rule anything out with this Blackhawks team because they're so much like the Patriots in that regard. Um, you know, with they have Tom Brady and then everyone else kind of can be plug and play to Belichick system, and I think that goes the same thing with the with the Blackhawks. With you know they've outlined their big core, if you will. Everyone else is kind of a plug and play with uh, within Quenville system. But Artemi Panarin's knocking on the door, being part of that. Like, all right, we need this guy to win. So, and I mean, you know, he had 77 points last year, seven points in seven playoff games. I know, oh, they did it with a couple last year, so they don't need him to win. Yeah, but Patrick Kane had one of the had the greatest season ever by an American born player, and was. Patty Jones is the best offensive player in the league. So the two of them really helped each other. I, I'm He's more a product of Kane's success than Kane is a product of his success. But Kane's game is elevated to play with him. They, they found the perfect compliment for him. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's all I got. episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.